Welcome to QuickSet's Customer Care Series. In this video, we're going to explain a few reasons why the smart key cylinder might become misprogrammed during the rekeying process. Then, we're going to show how to recover a misprogrammed cylinder. Misprogramming means that the lock will not function with the new key after the rekeying process. If you're doing this at home, please make sure that your door is open and won't close while you're working. For best results, Place your lock in the locked position. First, we're going to show you the rekeying process. Insert the functioning key and turn it to the 3 o'clock position. Insert the Smart Key Learn tool into the slot in the cylinder. You might hear it click. Remove the Smart Key tool and remove the functioning key. Insert the new key that you want to work with the cylinder. Okay. Here's where the misprogramming can occur. If you don't insert the key all the way into the lock, or if you accidentally pull on the key while rotating it during the next step, the cylinder will become programmed to only a portion of the key instead of the entire length. Also, if you push the key in or up or down while you rotate it, it can affect how the lock aligns with the key cuts, and this can also cause misprogramming. The key is now rotated to the 9 o'clock position. Rotate it back to 3 o'clock, perform the test pull, then rotate it back to the 12 o'clock position and remove it from the lock. Now, if you test the key, it won't work. The cylinder either learned a partial section of the key, or it's not aligned with the key cuts, depending on how it was misprogrammed during rekeying. Now we're going to show you the recovery method. Continue working with the last key that was used during the rekeying process. Insert the key and try to find the spot where the cylinder learned the key. This will allow you to get it back to that horizontal 3 o'clock position, because once you get it back there, you can restart the rekeying process. Attempt to pull the key out less than a millimeter at a time while trying to turn to the right. Put your index finger and thumb right up against the cylinder face. This gives you more control over the amount that the key comes out as you're turning it. If the key comes out more than halfway, try again. Remember, index finger and thumb against the cylinder and pull just a tiny bit on the key while rotating to the right. You can also try to push the key in towards the cylinder while rotating, or you can try pushing up or down while turning it. If you actually do get the key to turn to the 3 o'clock position, then you're on your way to recovery. Just make sure not to push the key in or pull it out yet. Keep it exactly where it is. You're basically going to restart the rekeying process. Fully insert the smart key tool into the slot and then remove it. Then remove the key. Reinsert the key, or whatever key you want the cylinder to work with, and make sure you fully insert it so that there's no gap between the key and the cylinder. Rotate the key to the 9 o'clock position without putting any pressure on the key. Don't push it in, up or down, and especially don't pull on it. Rotate it back to the 3 o'clock position for the test pull. Here, gently pull just to make sure that it doesn't come out in this position. If it does come out, we have another video for how to fix it. Rotate it to the 12 o'clock position and remove the key. Now test it and make sure it works in the lock. You've successfully reprogrammed your smart key cylinder.